Nigerian workers standing their ground at the National Assembly premises, demanding that President Buhari should end the ongoing strike by university lecturers in the country. In the Senate chamber, senators cocooned themselves behind closed doors in an executive session. The closed-off session ends two hours later, and the minority leader moves a point of order, reminding the Senate president of the decision taken during the executive session. We had discussed the issues as they relate to security in the country and all the issues around it. And we had also discussed that we're going to come back to plenary to discuss uh, the efforts that have been made so far on the issues of uh, security in the country, after which we'll give an ultimatum to the president that he resolves this issue, otherwise we we'll, uh, give an impeachment notice. And uh, as such... Um, minority leader, when you are going to come under uh, your point of order, first, you are supposed to cite the order. Second, you are supposed to discuss with me what you are going to discuss. You didn't. Second, thirdly, thirdly, I read the progress report. Thirdly, when, when I read it, when, when some of our colleagues were still not uh, this thing. Thirdly, we have already passed that stage. Look at where we are today. So, just hold on, please. So, at this moment, that point of order, I don't know what it is, but falls flat on his face. Displeased with the response of a Senate president, lawmakers from opposition parties stage a walkout. They assemble at the press center to brief journalists, making their demands clear. The Senate had at various levels, at various times, convinced various security meetings, various uh, security issues were discussed, and we did recommend to government various uh, steps. steps and measures aimed at uh, curbing these uh, issues of insecurity. We realized that the, the, even Abuja that we are in is no longer is no more safe, and all of you will agree with us. And so uh, at the close session, we agreed that uh, we will give the president an ultimatum that failing, failing which, if it is not complied with, will move immediately to give an impeachment notice. And this we agreed at our at the executive closed session, door. at closed door session. So when we came out of the closed door session, we expected that the Senate president will brief the uh, public on the issues that have happened, but however, yeah. that did not happen. Yes. How soon will you formalize your impeachment uh, threat against the president? Well, we have given two months' notice within which this, yes, yes, six weeks. Six weeks. Six weeks. Six weeks, precisely, within which uh, this uh, security yeah. issues yeah. should really be resolved. Even if it is, uh, yes, all our resolutions should also be implemented. However, it appears that the ultimatum to President Buhari is not supported by only lawmakers from opposition parties. I think it would be wrong to say the opposition. Um, it was a collective decision to give ultimatum. It was not opposition. The Senate has proceeded on its annual summer holiday to resume on September 20th, meaning the six-week ultimatum will elapse while the National Assembly is on recess. According to Section 143 of the 1999 Constitution, one-third of lawmakers in each chamber is required to sign a notice of allegation in writing to begin the impeachment process against the president, and two-third majority of lawmakers in each chamber is required to move a motion that the allegation necessitating impeachment be investigated. Linda Akibi, Channels Television News.